What up, dude? It's your girl Q. And I have a message for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're returning, what's up, name? What's the Sober Bee? These are going to be your weekly messages from February 12th to February 17th. Right? Yeah. I mean, February 19th. Damn. I said February 17th to Aries, but that's fine. February 19th. Okay? But yeah, we're gonna get straight to it. Okay, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There could be a level of truth coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles. There's gonna be a level of a big financial windfall coming towards you, or you know, a deposit can be very significant. Nine of Pentacles. All right, right now, I love the energy, Taurus. What's going on? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Taurus. First card, the Ten of Swords. Okay. Second card, the King of Swords. Three of Swords fall on the ground, but I'm not picking that up right now. Eight of Cups in reverse is for the third card. The Magician, and I'm going to take this Magician upright, is for the, um, for the, um, uh, fourth card and the strength for the uh fifth i'm gonna do something different for you guys this video clarify this to the swords. let me get this three swords up right now so i don't forget about it oh your your energy is at the bottom of the deck the higher font is at the bottom of this deck sorry y'all I just wanted to slice, but had to spend more for free delivery. At at and I don't like um, meditation music with commercials, so I'm going to change it. I really don't. All right, here we go. Sorry, y'all. Interruptions. <laughs> Let me do a pineal blend. Actually, I want to listen to this because it's for me to do it for you guys. Okay, so for um, clarify, first of all, 12 could be very significant. We have the Ace of Swords with the Two of Swords coming out. Okay, yeah, this is not for right now. You guys can be warding off negative energy, so continue to do that. All right. I might have to redo y'all's. Should I redo them? No? Okay. All right. So we're gonna just do this, okay? So three, three, three is very significant. The Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords came out, but I'm gonna re-clarify the Ten of Swords. Heavy emphasis on truth. You, um, okay. For some Tauruses, you guys are blocking out the truth. For other Tauruses, you guys are accepting the truth and you're blocking out people who lied to you, okay? What's this Ten of Swords here, Angels and Ancestors? Thank you so much. Five of Wands. For your present position, there's a level of a Ten of Swords energy, a clash of ambitions, chaos, envy from others. Somebody is envious of your energy right now. Okay. What's this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords? For Taurus, you need to be aware of that. That's what I'm really hearing. Um, but you're protected, of course, but you need to be aware of that. Um, I'm going to ask who later on. Two of Cups and the Five of Cups. This could be somebody who is grieving in your energy. Your dreams could be very significant. Somebody is a sexual demon. Okay, if not that, somebody is lying to you about something. And you're going to find out about it this week. Okay, what is this Eight of, um, eight of uh, Cups in reverse for what's unexpected? For Taurus, Sun, Rising, and Venus. 
Okay, somebody can't stop thinking about you. Definitely could be somebody that you are in a relationship with, married to, live with. Okay. Um, hmm. For uh, so we have um the hangman. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, we have twelve reduces to three. Communication and creativity, synthesis, dynamic, balance, expression. Okay, so for your immediate future, you guys are going to be expressing something that you feel. Okay, you guys could be feeling something about somebody um, or somebody's going to be expressing something that they feel about you. It could be a Virgo. I feel like you're going to be putting out, um, there's going to be a level of, def like, unexpectedly, I mean, in your immediate future, there's a level of defense, opposition, tenacity, brave, fiercefulness, fight, stand your ground. You stand in your ground when it comes to a situation that causes you to feel like you are stuck, okay, in your immediate future, Okay. What is the strength for a long-term future? Three of swords. Yeah, long-term, there's a level of um, exhaustion when it comes to, uh, like, exhaustion when it comes to your, um, your creativity or when it comes to your, your third eye. Like, you're exhausted when it comes to your spiritual practices. I don't know what's, what... what I don't think this is your energy. Somebody's exhausted for what you do. How's my Taurus feeling? What's going on? Seven of Cups. Definitely. The lovers. Definitely. Okay. So, this could be um, somebody that, like, 76 is very significant, but. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, um. We have temptation, decoy, superficiality, uh, various. You guys are very much so in a relationship, right? And somebody's being very much so materialistic. If not that, how you're feeling, Taurus, you guys are ready for new love. You guys could be exploring your um, options, right now and you feel like every option that like presents themselves to you um or that you indulge in they tend to overindulge in other things okay you guys can be manifesting love or by just manifesting love unintentionally manifesting something unintentionally definitely um or you guys could be communicating to the universe like some of you guys are unintentionally manifesting um Somebody is very narrow-minded, prideful, spiteful, overbearing, snobbery, okay, critical, negative influence of other women. Oh, my gosh. Discouraging, losing energy, losing inner fire, overreacting, conservative. Pay attention to everything that's in the background. Okay, okay. The high priestess. Your intuition is very significant. Like, you're a psychic, okay? You guys are a psychic, okay? And your psychic tendencies are kicking in when it comes to the situation. Ace of Swords. That's going to be your title. Okay? You are a psychic. And your angels and spirits, love, spirit guides love you. The most high loves you. Like the divine loves you because you always follow your intuition no matter what. Okay. You always follow your intuition no matter what. Someone is viewing you as a psychic as well too. I'm feeling like you already know who you are. You know, Taurus is the bull. You know. Okay. And I feel like there's a level of people underestimating you or people who underestimate you and shit like this in the third. And then when they see your work, they be like, they be shocked. Like, you knew this, like, type shit. You knew this, okay? And I feel like somebody was playing on your top, okay? What do you want Taurus to know, spirit angels and ancestors? What do you want Taurus to know this week? 
there's a level of a delayed when it comes to a low success rate frustration okay uh, lacking fulfillment when it comes to what what is this uh world card in reverse when it comes to a beginning of is my deck upside down my deck is not upside down when it comes to uh, is this is is this taurus energy Oh, yes, this is your energy. The page, of the, yes, it's your energy. Okay, there's a level of delay or low success rate when it comes to frustration when it comes to the beginning of an awakening. You guys can be very much so starting your um, spiritual journey, if not that. You guys are disappointed when it comes, or unfulfilled when it comes to um, security. There's a level of yielding um, fear of confrontation. What the fuck? Are you guys lacking confrontation when it comes to someone? Don't let nobody put fear to you. I feel like this is somebody's energy trying to overindulge in yours. Like, it's negative. It's really negative. It's the Queen of Wands in reverse. If this is my Taurus, what do you want them to hear? Because I have different... I have a lot of people who watch me, so... You know, if this is my source and, I, and my goal is to help everybody that I can or everybody that spirits wants me to help. Okay. Um, if this is Taurus, what do you want them to hear? Do your shit. Okay. Um, continue to look forward with uh, success. Okay. You're good at communicating. Author authorize. Is that even a word? Do something that you know that you're good at. You guys are very good at leading something. Um, but don't overreact when it comes to the situation because you guys are Tauruses. Let's be for real. Okay, you guys are the bull. Okay, don't overreact when it comes to something. Um, there could be a level of spite that somebody has toward you. There's be somebody being spiteful when it comes to you. Do not overreact when it comes to the situation. That's what they're trying to get out of you, okay? You guys are psychic, okay? That is your title of a member. You guys are psychic, okay? so therefore you you get like messages you get downloads you see the unseen so right right all right so people will try to take that away from you like you have to be mindful of who you're giving your energy to definitely have to be mindful of that okay the moon and the moon emotionally could be very significant yeah the moon nighttime can be very significant. Three could be very significant. Somebody's putting money above above all things. Take what resonates and leave the rest, you guys. Okay, some of you guys, I might not resonate with you at all, but I hope I do if I, you know. But anyways, um somebody is putting money above all things you guys could be divine feminine dealing with the, um, a masculine energy who's just very much so lacking in something you guys could be divine masculine who's very intuitive and this woman is trying to sabotage something from you for you um emotionally page of swords is watching you could be trying to post you trying to end something with a end a relationship i don't know like i don't know but this there's gonna be a level of disappointment when it comes to the situation eight of cups came out twice so don't aimlessly wonder when it comes to the situation or somebody is aimlessly wondering okay also put it where it fits okay um what I'm saying could be this person, okay? But just don't manipulate energies, okay? Definitely don't manipulate energies. I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who's manipulating energies or playing with magic. Yeah, the hermit could be definitely a Virgo. This person is not traditional. And that's unfortunate, okay? Whoever's in your energy is going to get karma times 20. Who's trying to deplete you of your gifts or deplete you of something definitely there's gonna be a new cycle um coming towards you okay very much so you're inspiring you inspire others to see something see people you help people see uh people's like others see other people you're a seer clairvoyant What does Taurus need to see when it comes to what they can't? 
the fool. A new beginning if you go fucking, if you go for it. You guys could be dealing with the Aries or you have Aries in your chart, okay? A new beginning. Not your shit. If you do something, what you, if you continue to, 101 is very significant. Oh, I love this. This is going to be your thumbnail. Keep doing something. Keep manifesting something because it's going to work. And there's people that's trying to block out this manifestation and they think that they can, but they can't. E could be very significant. I'm here and doing 80 and a 60 fucking ticket because I ain't had that pussy in a minute. Okay, but um, E, gas could be very significant. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing that, but very much so. I'm proud of you, okay? Very much so proud of you, Taurus. Somebody's trying to find a sword, you. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm a Taurus rising, so, like, it's weird. You have this spirit of adventure in you. Like, you are, um, the amount of, pros like, the amount of, I don't, I'm hearing limitless, okay? Unlimited. Definitely the chariot, the six of pentacles, and the tower sideways. Okay, 16 reduces to seven. Disruption, release, paint a pent up feelings, wake up or inner desires. You guys are waking up this inner desire that you have when it comes to knowledge. Um, you guys are putting in action when it comes to something. Somebody 27 can be very significant, 26 can be very significant. Um you guys are putting in action when it comes to something. The chariot fell in the two of cups. Or if somebody's about to put in the work when it comes to you and your energy. Okay. All right. Ooh, but what the fuck? What you don't see is this five of swords. Okay. Ah. 10, 10 can be very significant. Ah. Somebody is trying to play unfair when it comes to the situation. Um, you are very confident and this person is trying to take your confidence or trying to make you feel rejected in some type of way. Um, this person really does care for you and I feel like this person does feel some type of feelings for you, but this person doesn't want to admit it. And that's what's holding them back or that's what's causing them to be in a lack of their um, lack of something. Nine of Swords, just, I just split the deck on the Nine of Swords. Somebody is lying on how they really feel about you and you intuitively know this okay you definitely this person could have been manifesting you while you was manifesting them there could have been a level of a split apart when it comes to the situation definitely and there could have been a level of blocking this person as well too but somebody does not want to admit that they have feelings for you so they tend to reject you okay and that's fine because rejection is god's protection right all right Five card hidden truth oracles. Think of somebody right now, okay? And we're going to get hidden truth oracles for you guys. Five cards for Taurus. Two fell out. We have, I wish I could share my uh, good news with you. We have, I want to tell you how I feel. We have, it's time for me to heal now. Two more cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Well, three came out. We have just being near you is intoxicating. We have I want you. And then we have I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. All right, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, we have I can't stop thinking about you. Okay. All right, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, what I'm getting is somebody really does, really does have feelings for you the timing wasn't right for the this person or something this person does hold on to you it's like i'm feeling like this is like somebody that you've dealt with a long time ago um but i could be wrong you know i don't know um i just give the messages um but you guys are very much so intuitively feeling a nudge to um i'm here and stop communicating or stop doing something with someone okay and intuitively feeling something i don't know okay but something is going to come in for you guys to give you confirmation or clarity when it comes to the situation something's going to go into your favor okay 
But yeah, Taurus, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you guys for supporting me on this channel, okay? May all the odds turn into your favor, okay? And remember who the fuck you are, Taurus. You are the bull, all right? But yeah, I love you guys so much. Bye.